How is it going, everybody? My name is Matt Sherman. I'm the founder of Seed Scout. And today we're going to be diving into something that happened yesterday on Twitter that, that was kind of interesting. Um, what it was is there was a Twitter spaces that was going on uh, primarily between Dell Johnson and Jason Calacanis, two people with very different schools of thought on venture capital. And they kind of came at each other. They kind of cl clashed at each other a little bit. And I wanted to reflect on it and talk about it. Before we go into the conversation, let's make sure we all know who, who each of them is. So Jason Calacanis is um, a very successful investor in Silicon Valley. He's been investing for about a decade. Early investments include Uber, Robinhood, Thumbtack. He also invested in Calm via a syndicate. You know, one of the most successful, you know, outsiders to break in and make a name for himself in such a short amount of time in just a decade. So you got Jason, who was an outsider, is now an insider, plays by the insider's rules. And then you got Dell Johnson. And Del Johnson is definitely more of an outsider than Jason. And this is someone who has noticed some, you know, horrible problems with the venture capital industry. And it's someone that is trying to bring change to this world. Instead of playing the game and kind of quote unquote getting his, he is trying to change the system, trying to change the way things work. So the venture capital could be more meritocratic. So venture capital can be less racist. Um, so he cares more about the systemic stuff. So, uh, but the thing is, the thing with Dell is that he, you know, talks about the problems all the time, you know, on Twitter, if you follow him, you know what I'm talking about, but it's a little light on the solutions. Um, so, you know, you got Jason, who's been in the game, deployed, you know, millions of dollars, kind of points on the board, as he would say, and he looks at someone like Dell as someone who's just complaining, who Jason doesn't know if Dell is right or not. I think Jason probably perceives Dell as wrong, but regardless of if Dell is right or wrong, Dell doesn't have any points on the board. Right. He has no investments that have exited. He hasn't started a fund. So from Jason's point of view, he's just like, wow, this guy, all he does is complain, but he doesn't want to play the game. Right. And Dell's saying, I don't want to play the game because the game is rigged. So it's this really interesting dynamic. My perspective on what's going on here is I actually agree with Dell. I, I, I almost agree with like everything that he says. Um, the, you know, at, all his tweets, if you take out his, um, the way that he communicates, which I know he thinks is fine. I, I think it's a little abrasive. But if you take out the way that he communicates, the content of his message makes a lot of sense. And I agree with it. The problem is if Dell is correct, that means every single player in the ecosystem is kind of, you know, needs to admit to themselves that they're in a rigged game, a rigged system. They maybe didn't are deserving of the success or they are contributing to a larger problem in the world and they're not going to do that. So for example, when Jason tells Dell, Dell, if you think there's a problem in this industry, raise a fund, you know, get in the game point points on the board. So you can actually, I can actually respect you and prove to you that, you know, you know, like, like you prove to me, I guess that like you are worthy of my time, worthy of my respect. Dell's thinking, no, that's the wrong game. I don't want to invest in startups. I want to change the nature of investing in startups. And that does not mean raising a fund. The problem though, you know, so I, I'm with Dell pretty much on all of this, but the problem is that Dell doesn't have enough leverage to come up with the solution on his own. Okay. So Dell's very quick to suggest the problems, but he needs other people's help, other people's money, other people's respect to implement the solutions to the problems that he talks about. So he has little leverage. And you have someone like Jason who has maximum leverage. In this conversation, it seemed to me like Dell was almost pitching Jason on investing in him because he has this insight and maybe he wants to invest in GPs or you know, skip a step or kind of be a certain level before he's earned it. And Jason's over here saying, like, why would I do that? Like, you literally complain all the time. You are disrespectful. Why would I give you money? And Dell's here saying, you should give me money because that's how change happens in the industry. The core problem here is that Dell has identified a problem, but is not able to bring about a solution to solve that problem without other people. But because of Dell's abrasive personality and communication style, other people, you know, at least people like Jason, don't want to help Dell. And it's interesting because because of Dell's communication style, 
people like Jason don't even think Dell is correct. They don't think he's on to anything. They think he's just complaining and just needs to get in the game. But Dell is right. The game is rigged. There is a way to change things that makes the venture capital world so much more meritocratic. But anyone in that world is blind. So it takes an outsider to solve the problem. But that outsider needs to have enough leverage to solve the problem without the insiders. Do you see this dynamic? So here are just some thoughts I have on this conversation between Dell and Jason. I fully agree with Dell on the problem, but I'm bringing to light the fact that it doesn't appear to me like Dell has enough leverage in this world to bring the solution alone, which puts him at kind of a standstill and makes people like Jason not respect Dell. Um, which is unfortunate. I, I wish Dell could get the resources together to prove his point, but I understand why he can't because of the way that he communicates. So that is my analysis on the situation. You know, long story short, Dell is right. Jason is wrong, but it's an incentive issue because Jason has been in this system for 10 years. He has no incentive for it to change in any capacity. And Dell has all the incentive for it to change. Um, and if Dell wanted to create change, he should just do it without necessarily permission from people inside. But it sounds to me like he needs something from them. And that's my analysis on the conversation from yesterday. Hope you learned something. Feel free to check out seedscout.com. If you are a founder, investor, or job seeker looking to connect with other people in this space, and I'll see you next time. Bye.